Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos Arm here today, back with the only Black Desert video people still watch on my channel, another patch notes video. Today's video will be going over the most recent patch that came to Black Desert on April 7th of 2021. Tons of events this time around, including the AFK fishing event, where you can watch your game become a PowerPoint presentation, as well as some class buffs and a bunch of other stuff. So we're going to rapid fire rip through this so you know what's going on and you take full advantage of all of it. Quickly though, before we get into it, if you're new to my channel, new to Black Desert, or you have been watching videos on the channel and still haven't subscribed yet, please consider it pushing for 100k this year and I would greatly appreciate it. Without further ado, let's get into event number one. And that is, as the title suggests, a free giveaway of Black Desert. If you don't own Black Desert yet for some reason, or you got friends you want to get into this game and tell them to watch Evil Do His Harm's channel, they can pick it up for free right now through Prime Gaming. So if you have an Amazon Prime account or a subscription to the Prime Gaming system, you can log in over here, claim the free copy of the game. It'll give you a code. You enter it in your code redeem section here in your Black Desert account. Basically, this post walks you through the whole system. I obviously already own the game and can't really do anything with it. But for those of you that already do have the game, you can pick up a free cat pet. And guess what? This also applies to console too. You don't get the game for free, but you get a storage made as well as the same pet. So free stuff for console players too. All you have to do is link your Black Desert account to your Twitch account in the sign up tab over here. So link to this is in the description below. Just click it and follow the instructions. Really straightforward. Next up are more shy events, which I can't do anything about because I don't have a shy. TLDR though, take a picture with your shy flying on the donkey, post it on this forum topic post here. And that is in the community forum section, art and media. And you make the post right here in this setup right here. Donkana, you follow the format that's listed right here on the page, right? That's it. Pretty straightforward. Next up is an event where you're going to fly your donkey around in the game here. And it is only on these servers that you see right here. So Calpheon 234, Serendia 234. So ride around to these different locations, talk to the different GMs, and you will receive Life EXP scroll times two and an item collection increase scroll times two. Pretty straightforward. Just follow this map right here. Walk around to the different NPCs. Third event is going to be in your mailbox. If you've been playing the game for a while, if you press the B key on the keyboard, you're going to see some Black Spirits Adventure Reward revamps. Basically, they doubled your rewards from the previous season of rewards. For the Black Spirits Adventure, which is under Escape Reward Black Spirits Adventure, if you aren't doing this already, make sure to click this button every single day and get free crap. But for the last season of doing it, they're giving you bonus rewards. Just go ahead and press the B key once again, claim that crap. Next up is a Dark Rift boss system here. So the Dark Rift boss is down here that you can go around the map and complete. For all of the bosses that are in the game, save for the three that only give you Ancient Spirit Dust and not a box, the loot box has been changed to have a black distortion earrings inside of it as well. So this is only going on for two weeks. So if you have a bunch of these saved up, make sure to do them. Definitely worth taking advantage of them now. Next event is at the top of the screen. You will see the new Olvia server buffs. These are applied to all servers for two weeks as well. Life EXP up 100% up until you reach Artisan 1. So this is to help newer players get into the game. It is going to carry on on the Olvia servers permanently. But for all servers in the game, you get this buff right now as well. Once again, for the next two weeks. So if you have any life skills that are underneath the Artisan 1 tag, you probably want to go do them. Like, I'm going to knock out Hunting this weekend. Definitely should take advantage of that EXP buff, though, if you haven't, because EXP buffs for life skills are really, really quite rare. New and returning players have a new set of rewards that are awarded to them. They're pretty similar to what you typically see for these login rewards. Nothing too crazy to note here. Basically, they've just refreshed the same rewards that have been around for a while. And all of that takes us to the flagship event this time around, another water festival event. If you've played this game for any amount of time, you'll remember these. These are always a ton of fun and always come with those AFK fishing events that everybody loves, which is what I'm doing right now while recording this video. At any rate, the Mystical Water Event Festival is located up and to the left of Olvia on the map. So right here on this beach, it's pretty much directly above the city of Calpheon. You can see it right here. The first event going on here is the AFK fishing event. As you can see, everybody on the entire server is sitting here right now fishing because you can pick up these little guys right here. They are Koi. So Koi sell for 500,000 silver and they stack, which means you can just straight up sit here until your fishing rod breaks. So the location that you can fish in is right here on the map. Little picture that they got right here. Everybody just hangs out in the pond over here because it's a safe zone. So probably should stay there. There are two options for fish. You have the koi that goes for 500,000 silver and the golden sea perch that goes for 10 million. Thing about these fish is that they sell to regular vendors. You do not need to go to a trade merchant. You can just straight up sell them at any vendors, but you also don't get any bargaining buffs. So pros and cons. I think last time this event ran, I was making like 40, 50, 60 million silver a night. So it's pretty easy money running for two weeks. So make sure to take advantage of it. All right. So in addition to the fishing event, there is a whole nother series of events going on here at the Termian water park. So to get started with those, press the Y key on the keyboard and at the top of the screen, you're going to see Anya's invitation. Go ahead and accept that invitation and then talk to your black spirit by pressing the comma key on the keyboard in here. You will see the option for quests and on the far right, you're going to see event quests. 
The quest you want to pick is Event to Mystical Ellie's Water Festival. Go ahead and accept that quest line. It should pop it up on the right side of your screen right here under your quest tab. If you right click that, it'll place a waypoint on the map to where you need to go, which is right here down by the docks where everybody is down fishing. So go ahead and talk to Anya. Click on the chat option when you get to this NPC and click the I'm here for the festivities button to turn in that little event thing and get an event enhancement help kit number one. And while we're here, we're going to take the quest, Don't Catch a Cold. The second quest that she has is for a different series of events that we'll take a look at here in a second. So you can take it if you want, but we'll be coming back to her momentarily. This first quest requires you to give her five cotton fabric, which should be able to just buy off of the marketplace. After you have it in your inventory, go ahead and talk to her again, click on the chat option, and provide her with the cotton fabric. This will give you a fresh Finto's juice and some contribution EXP. That is a repeatable quest that you can do once per day for that juice, as well as the contribution EXP. To continue on our adventure of quests here, we're going to run down the dock all the way to the end where we see this Papu standing out in the water. Their quest is to clean up the garbage. If you click the waypoint on it and go ahead and walk over to these boxes, go ahead and hit the R key on the keyboard, that'll complete the quest, and just go ahead and return back to the NPC. That completes it and gives you a water balloon as well as an ancient spirit dust. This is also a reoccurring quest that you can do once per day. From this NPC and a bit further into the distance, you are going to see a little elephant icon. Go ahead and talk to this NPC. Click the waypoint selector and swim on back to where we just were. And if you follow the waypoint that it drops on the map for you, you will see a small little elephant in the water. Go ahead and press the R key on the keyboard. That'll complete the quest and give you two cronstones. So that's the Pompu in the distance that we were just talking to. If you turn left over here, there's another NPC. Take our quest. Click on this quest here after we've taken it, and you'll see that we need to get onto this boat over here. You need to sit down on this boat, so walk backwards into the boat to sit down. And once you're sitting down, press the F5 key on the keyboard to complete this quest line. So pretty straightforward. Return to the NPC to turn this one in. Continuing along the path over here, we have an NPC hanging out. Talk to him. The waypoint location for it is right here. All you gotta do is talk to this NPC, and that'll complete the quest. Pretty straightforward. Also, not much of a water fight, because you just dump a bucket of water on their head. Complete that quest. Three meme fragments. Up a little bit further, you're gonna see this guy standing on the dock. Go ahead and talk to him. We can take both of these quests right here, so go ahead and accept both of them. His first quest is to bring him a usable scantling, which can be crafted from 10 logs by using the chopping option, selecting the logs in your inventory, and clicking the start button to cut them into a usable scantling. This is a daily quest. You're going to need 10 of these usable scantlings to complete the full series of quests, so make sure to do that. So with the usable scantling in your inventory, go ahead and talk to him, click the chat option, and turn that in. This is going to give you a piece of wood. His second quest that he had is the Abyssal Clam in the Sea. So go ahead and click on that quest. You'll see it's highlighted on the map over here. And if you press the Q key when you're swimming in this area, you will dive underneath the water. And then you can control your character and you will see that there are some blue clams hanging out underneath the water. Let's go ahead and click on one of those. Then swim back to the surface. You can also hold the E key down and it will swim you straight up to the surface. So pretty easy to find your way back up to the top. Swim back to the NPC over here. And completing that quest is going to give you an advice of Valks plus 50. Pretty straightforward. So once again, complete his daily quest 10 times to do a quest that we'll see here in a few seconds. If we head on back up through this little area here, you'll see this lady. Go ahead and talk to her to take her quest. Which you'll need to have logged into the game for 60 minutes in order to complete. So for logging into the game for 60 minutes, you're going to get this item, Traces of a Festival. If you go ahead and claim that item, then talk to her again. Click on the chat option. You'll be able to exchange one of those. You then take that over to one of these kids right over here on the ground, click on the chat option, sprinkle some water on them, turn back around, and talk to her to complete the quest. Pretty straightforward. Continuing along on our circle, we have an NPC way out over here. Go ahead and talk to this one, Haro. Event be my friend. You can see right here that there's an elephant dancing in the water. If you go ahead and talk to them, it'll complete the quest. Turn back around and talk to Haro. Then you'll get the next quest in the chain, professional advice. This is going to send you back to that NPC, Anya. So we'll go ahead and head back on over to her. Take the quest that says looks like a baby elephant and this is a quest you're gonna have to complete throughout this series of the event here because you need 50 of those traces of the festival so you'll need a bunch of those so we can move on from here now and head on back over in this direction to the quest that we passed up the first time around so right here we see this villager go ahead and talk to them this will drop a waypoint on your map right over here so go ahead and slide on over to this spot click on the falling pedal to make a wish make a u-turn and talk at with that npc again Talk to them to complete the quest. That's going to give you another water balloon. So moving on from this NPC, there is another quest line right over here with this big dude. Go ahead and talk to him. For this one, you have to kill some hummingbirds, which are marked on the map. It's pretty straightforward. You're just going to ride out and kill the hummingbirds that are located out here. Once you've done that, go ahead and talk to the NPC again to turn in that quest line. Turn around from him. We got another one right over here. Go ahead and accept this quest line from the villager. 
For this one, you are going to need some empty bottles, which means you're going to have to take a rip up to Whale Farm here in the city of Olvia. So take a ride up here to the material vendor where we're going to buy some water bottles. Click on the shop option and buy enough of these for the next two weeks because you're going to need a bunch. So I'm going to buy like a hundred. Then take a rip back down to the festival area and down to the water. You need to fill those bottles with the seawater. So go ahead and click the bottle in your inventory while standing in the water to go and fill that. And starting back from the quest giver, once you have the water in your inventory, we're going to go over to the first pot, which is located right here. On over to the second pot, which is located right here. And finally to the third pot, which is located over here. Return back to the starting NPC that gave us the quest line. That leaves us with one more quest, which is from this NPC right here. Go ahead and talk to them. A festival for everyone. We'll take the first option right there and the second option. In your inventory, there is now going to be a miniature elephant flute. If you go ahead and right click on that, it's going to mark the location on your map where you need to go. So go ahead and head on over to the spot where all the tents are, of course. Then once you're here, click on the flute in your inventory once again. Then in your inventory, you see the bucket of water. Go ahead and click on the bucket of water to equip the bucket of water. And, and that's it. You're just going to cool off the element by left clicking. Pretty, pretty straightforward. And that'll just complete that quest. After you do it enough times, go back and talk to the NPC over here to pick up a Shikatu's Luxury Box. So that just leaves us the quest from Anya that we skipped over at the start of the video over here. So if we go ahead and back over to her and click on the quest option to take the quest from her. This is going to send you on a quest to go and pick some flowers. You're going to go ahead and pick the flowers and bring them back over to Anya. And that is going to give you a skin for your rowboat. And then she'll give you another quest line that gives you a skin for your fishing boat. These trigger as soon as you complete the quest. So complete them whenever you're going to use them. Or if you want to do some sick cosplaying or picture taking, I don't know, time when you turn in these quests around that, which is why I'm not doing it. Uh, the quest line where we needed to give 50 more traces of a festival to that NPC Anya once again also culminates finally by getting an elephant fountain after you complete the entirety of that quest line. So that leaves the splashy water balloon portion of the event, which is a water balloon that spawns at various locations throughout the area here. So all you got to do is take one of those water balloons that you've gathered throughout all that questing that you've done and throw them at the water balloon. So to do that, you just have to equip the water balloon in your weapon slot that you've gotten from this quest period. And yeah, just throw it at the water balloon. And when it finally goes down, you're going to get some crap, including the traces of a festival, which also traces of a festival can be obtained from grinding all sorts of mobs out in the world as well. So yeah, like I just said, though, traces of a festival, the item that you need 50 of for that elephant, you can be obtained from fishing, gathering or defeating monsters out in the world. Also, one more event that I didn't mention before we move on here is going to be the fact that you can trade in 10 of those timber squares that you got for a bobble matchlock, which is a pretty solid beginners starting out matchlock if you wanted to get into hunting. And with that, we've pretty much covered every single event that goes on during this water park event. So there's a lot to do. This is a huge section of the video. Knock them all out. It takes about 20, 25 minutes per day to do all of this. Really solid rewards every single day, though, for completing these daily quests. Memory fragments, Kaffir stones, cron stones, lots of good stuff. And with the events out of the way, that just leaves the patch notes themselves. So first major thing from the patch notes are changes to a ton of the different classes in the game. So a lot of classes got some scaling changes to a lot of their abilities, most of them being buffs. So if you scroll through this page here, look to see if your class is on the list, look to see what skills have been changed, you can see that there are a lot of multiplier changes here. So definitely take a look at this post. All of these notes are linked in the description below, by the way, and see if your class got any changes. But pretty much anything where you're seeing a wall of text underneath it got a buff, so that's pretty cool. Next up is a stars and grinding area change. There's going to be a new sort of like defense mode system added to it because a lot of people apparently like to grind in stars end, giving you more things to do in that location. And yeah, that's pretty much it for important impactful changes with the patch notes. So definitely be sure to check out all these events this time around, guys. There's a ton of events, ton of really fun different things to do. If this video is going to help you to progress here in Black Desert, do let me know in the comment section below. Also, once again, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. You'll stay up to date when new content like this does come out. Thank you all so much for watching once again. I'll see you at the next live stream over on Twitch, YouTube video, right here, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.